Okay, fellas, in part two, we've got the gearboxes out of the tank. We uh, unhooked the metal support bar. Now, you see this extra bar in the back here? That's something that uh, the guys at IMAX do on certain tanks. They'll, they'll put that extra bar on there. I think it's on their full metal Tigers. I'm not sure. You'd have to ask Eric. But I really like it, and uh, I got a few of these extra bars, and I'm doing all my tanks because it holds holds everything up in place, you know, instead of letting it droop down. If you got a Tiger one, you pull the lid off it, you'll see that this is starting to droop. But with the brace in there, it holds everything like it's supposed to be. So back to the subject at hand. This was our donor gearbox. Okay. Let me move this back a little bit. All right, this was our donor gearbox. They come apart pretty easy. It's basically just four screws that hold it together. You got two here and two in the bottom. And I've taken the motor off of this one, but then everything lifts off. The axle's already out of this one, too. This was a 58 millimeter box to start with. So, uh, I must that's the wrong shaft. Anyway, take the good gears out of the donor box and I put them into the four shaft box, the four and one. Okay, as you can see, this is a three. Now, fortunately, it wasn't the fourth gear that was stripped. It was this center one here. So we just changed them. If there's any doubt, let me show you how you check gears. I told you I'm in the gear business. Now, there's a couple of different measurements that are important. These are your calipers, okay? So when you get one of these gears, and you got two of them, and you want to compare them to make sure they're the same, check the OD, all right? You'll be able to check that. This one's at uh, 1.298. It's probably metric. So we'll flip over to millimeters for just a second. 33 millimeters. Yeah, that's what that size is. Now I'm going to use standard for the next size because in, in the gear business, this is what we call a span measurement. You count however many number of teeth you want to use. On this one, I'm going to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, whatever we got right here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teeth. Seven's a good lucky number. Now you measure across there with your calipers, and that's called a span measurement. You're measuring the span between those two teeth that are seven teeth apart. So in between the jaws of the caliper, there are seven teeth, and that measures to 474 and 5 tenths. Okay, so then when you get a similar gear, if you want to know if it's the same kind of gear, this is not, okay? You can see that it's not. Um, let me see if I got another one of those laying around. I did. But uh, anyway, the point is, you do the span measurement, and we got 474 and 5 tenths over 7 teeth. When you check the, ma the gear that you're going to replace it with, as long as that span measurement and that outside diameter is the same on both gears, you're good to go. That's all you need. OD and span measurement. If they match, you can use it. And, of course, the configuration's got to match, too. Uh, you know, for example, you can see that these two gears are obviously different. This one has a larger diameter here. You know. So, anyway, that's what we do. We just fixed a stripped-out gear motor. Took it apart, swapped the gears. I decided not to use the black steel. Let's burn up these first. <laughs> I got a few extra ones. Now, that's one thing about uh, the Mod Squad here. Uh, my fellow members that uh, are in the same situation as I am, if you know, been into it for a year or so and having fun and just getting going. If you guys need help, if you strip out a gearbox, don't buy a new set of gearboxes. Uh, private message me on the forum. I got so many extra gears and boxes and stuff. I got no problem with sending that stuff to guys if it's going to go to good use. Definitely got plenty of spares. So if you ever strip a box or anything like that, Max U52 private message. Take care of you. All right, so until part three, when it'll be running, that's it for now.